It's recording. Ip switch. Ip switch. We're excited to see you. And hike to the beach. But first, a sandwich to go from Sandpiper, a super cute coffee shop downtown. And then we took a spin through the downtown area because Ipswich has a ton of historical homes. They call them first period homes, and some date back to the 1600s, like this one. It's pretty old. We passed some beautiful marshes on the way to Cranes Beach. It's 10 bucks for the whole car. Keep watching to see if it's worth it. If you're here to hike, park on the right side of the lot and you'll see a sign and a map. We picked the easy trail to the beach. We have a sandwich in my fuzzy fanny, ready to go. The trails here are marked really well and we didn't get lost yeah. once. 10 to 10. This is such a unique hike. I don't think I've ever been on like a sandy hike before. Sandy hikes mean sand in your shoes. So be prepared for that. Also be prepared for awesomeness. Imagine being surrounded entirely by dunes and then all of a sudden we're in the forest now bam you see all of those pine cones on that tree it's like the ocean smell and the pine no. smell so combined good. it smells so good and now we're back to the sand that way let's go to the beach what is this it's beautiful it's like a little red ocean more like a pond the sand kept getting deeper and deeper and Dang it, i'm taking my shoes off Wow, there's a lot of sand in there. You gotta do what you gotta do on a nice day. Let's go. Ooh, it feels good. Oh yeah, what a day. Highly recommend this. Not too much further and the dunes flattened out and the seagrass, hay, shrub, plant stuff appeared. I'm not a scientist. We finally made it to the beach. We're going to have our little sandwich. If you were wondering how the water feels in Massachusetts in March, it's cold, but it's always cold. This is our bon mi. Oh, wow. I love these green things. This is a jalapeno. We don't have anything to drink. Is that a bad idea? Time to walk it back to the car. On the way, we saw some other hikers. A doggo enjoying the freezing cold water, a horseshoe crab, and then we saw a seal pup taking a snooze. The volunteers say sometimes the pups nap on the beach because they can't reach the rocks out in the ocean. Crane's Beach is perfect. Now back to the car and back downtown. Right across from the visitor center is Anne Teeks. Anne, like the name. Are you ready for this? Dunks, ducks, and dogs. And oh my goodness, look at these hats. Is this my style? Zebra, fish, bull, and this is the Huntress. You are Anne of Antiques. I'm Anne of Antiques. Huh. She played us a tune from the Vitrola. I am as controlled by this. I think we're one of the first green industries that ever existed as antique dealers. We're trying to rescue really great products from various eras. Anything from the 18th to mid-century, she combines all styles and hopes you do too. They're nice things to blend in our homes so that we uh, can give our personality to where we live. Anne calls Ipswich a historic town with current vibes. And behind her place is the Riverwalk, a good spot to get a view of the Choate Bridge. There's a toy store in town. Wow, this is fun. A couple of breweries. Beers to go. A rummery and a meadery. But when I asked you all what's cool in Ipswich, so many people said to get Fried clams, fried clams. We're gonna get some and I'm excited to try them. Of course, everybody says we have to go to the clam box. It's been here since 1935, so the clams have to be great, right? They have a big menu, lots of options. The clams, yeah. fried clams, yeah. fried clams. Obviously. Some yes, yes, please. please. And you know what they say. Pass me the macaroni pickles and onions and we'll have some more. Fried clams. Fried clams. I think it's fried ham. Same, same. It's the taste of the ocean. 
deep fried. It's the ocean deep fried and you're consuming it. It's very good. Ipswich, the switch. This is a great place. Thanks everybody for coming on these road trips with me. Please make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you later.